Hello everyone, welcome to study with Janavi channel. Today I am going to talk about basics required to solve the problems in Fourier series. We require strong foundation of integration but generally when we think of integration we get scared because there are a lot of formulae and lot of theorems to remember. However, I have listed down few formulae and few theorems essential for solving problems in Fourier series. So if you master these few selected formulae, you will be absolutely good in Fourier series. Let's see the formulas. First one, integral x power n dx is equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constant. This formula not to be used for an equal to minus 1. And the next integral sine ax dx is equals to minus cos ax divided by a plus constant. But remember this a is the coefficient of x. Next integral is sine x dx is equals to minus cos x plus c. Here from the above formula you can observe that a is equals to 1 here. If you place 1 in a in the position of a you can just get this formula okay and the next integral is cos ax dx is equals to sin ax by a plus c. Once again, this is nothing but coefficient of x. Now, look at the next formula. Integral cos x dx is equals to sin x plus c. c means constant. Here, in the place of a, we just placed a is equals to 1 okay the value of a is 1 now let's see some biggest integral formulas integral e power ax sine bx is equals to e power ax by a square plus b square into a sine bx minus b cos bx next integral e power ax cos bx dx is equals to e power ax by a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin bx. You can see that the coefficients are same. That e power ax by a square plus b square is same for these two formulas. Okay. Apart from these, please remember this very very useful formula. Sine of n pi is always 0 where n can be any integer so sine 1 pi sine 2 pi sine 3 pi sine 4 pi all values are equal to 0 only cos n pi equals to minus 1 where here n is according to odd or even numbers okay uh, if it is an even pi then you will get 1 if it is an odd pi you will get minus 1 that means if you get cos even pi that is cos 2 pi cos 4 pi cos 6 pi like this you will get the answer 1 if you have odd values in the place of n that is cos 1 pi cos 3 pi cos 5 pi you will get minus 1 value okay and now we are going to see some defactorization formulae to remember you studied in 11th standard somewhere in trigonometry. So the first formula is sin a cos b is equals to half into sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. Similarly cos a sin b the difference is just a minus okay cos a sin b is equals to half into sin of a plus b minus sin a minus b. The difference from these two formulas is just minus. Okay. Just observe it clearly. 
Next formula. Cos A cos B is equals to half into cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B. Next formula. Sin A sin B is equals to half of cos A minus B minus cos of A plus B. A theorem from integrals. Integral minus a to a f of x dx. Uh, look at the limits. It's very interesting. Uh, the limits are opposite to each other. So integral minus a to a f of x dx is equals to 0. The straight away answer is 0. If f of x is an odd function. If f of x is the odd function like 3x, 5x, 4, I mean uh, 7x like that. If f of x is an odd function, the, then the answer will be straight away 0. If f of x is an even function, the answer will be 2 times integral 0 to a f of x dx. Okay. And now we are going to talk about odd functions and even functions. Let's now try to understand what an odd function and even function using one example. Consider a function sin x and consider a function cos x and I want to know whether the function is odd function or even function. What is the method? In place of x, you write minus x. If you want to check whether function is even or odd, the procedure is in place of x, you write minus x and then see what happens. Sin of minus x gives this sign out and cos of minus x observes that minus. So here f of minus x is minus of sin x. That means f of minus x is negative of the original function. And in the even side f of minus x is cos x. That means f of minus x is same as the original function. So here f of minus x is same as f of x. And f of minus x is same as negative of f of x. So when you replace x by minus x and you get negative of the original function. It is odd function. And then you replace x by minus x. And you get exactly the same function. It is an even function. And the next one is when we have one odd function multiplied with another odd function. Remember the answer will be even function. When you have one odd function and one even function or one even function or one odd function the answer will always be odd function and if you have even function multiplied into even function then you will get an even function for example x raised to 3 is an odd function and sine of x is also an odd function so if these two are multiplied each other, then this is also going to be an odd function only. Okay. Hope the things are clear. So if you remember these basics of integration and some few basics of trigonometry, which I already told you, the Fourier series is going to be absolutely strong. And the next lecture will be on Fourier series. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Good luck. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.